Okay, I'm gonna rush today because I mainly want to rip into one trailer, but you deserve a smattering of information and I want to give you that. Handily, every movie this week is a complete ripoff, so that makes it easy. First, there's The Wild Robot, a computer animated children's film about a cute little misfit robot who's not named Wally, but overcomes their aggressive programming through the power of friendship, completely unlike the Iron Giant, because they were raised in the wild, which is certainly wide of any copyright infringement claim that might be made by Becky Chambers in reference to her recent hit book, A Psalm for the Wild Built, the premise of which I conveniently just described. But Catherine O'Hara looks funny in it, so I'll probably watch. Then there's The Imaginary, which asks the question everybody else is afraid to, what if imaginary friends were real? Yeah, what if? It's crazy that specifically the idea of the infinite capacity of humans to imagine new things gets recycled so much. Oh, and I gotta point out that the narrator says this as if it's a good thing. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it's true or not. All that matters is the story you believe. Coming to a theater near the White House, January 6th. Next up, My Spy, The Eternal City, about a guy trying to balance fatherhood with the job of being an international secret agent. Yawn. Except Kristen Shaw looks funny in it, so I'll probably watch. Acknowledge me! Jesus, Ken Jeong is in it as well. Sorry. There's also a new Paddington movie in which Antonio Banderas ties a knot in such a way that it makes me want to f*** him. Okay, we're there. The trailer for Space Cadet. I hate this trailer. First off, this is the opening narration. But sometimes, life doesn't always work out the way you planned. Listen, you asshole, you disaster. It's either sometimes life doesn't work out the way you planned, or life doesn't always work out the way you planned. Don't hit me with the sometimes always. It's too wordy, and you knew that. Then it reels me in with a boldly going, yes, yes, Star Trek, okay, I'm listening, where no party girl has gone before. Even f***ing wordier, no wordplay whatsoever, and yet again, you're making an appeal to newness and the unexplored using a tired, recycled reference. It's like an oxymoron as a unit of art. Not with my tax dollars, she's not. Lady, if you're worried about what your tax dollars are up to, I've got some bad news for you, and it rhymes with genocide. Anyway, Dave Foley looks funny, and it's all probably what. Mm. 